Tinder thread. <laughs> Passionate na workaholic. Yeah. And I was at Busan with her. She is a star at Busan. And she knows everyone. And I think that's part of her magic. She has good relationships with people because one, she just knows people's names. Masaya siya kasa. Masaya kay naman. She's funny when she's drunk. She says the most candid things that dapat hindi sinasabi sa iba. Because she's so shocking in her candidness, it's, it becomes funny. Kakante and kakante niya ng mga film festivals abroad. She has the gut feel of what's a good film. She developed a standard of her own. I think she's a gift. Whether as a person or to the industry. The only best word I can say is Bianca is a gift. She chooses her projects. It's uh, something that the Philippines can be proud of. You know that Bianca. Bianca was my classmate at UP Film. She actually wanted to be a cinematographer. That was her original, I think, intent or dream in the industry. When I made my first feature film for Cinemalaya, I was told that I needed an assistant director. And they pointed me to the direction of Bianca, who was doing ADPM work. Dami kami na pagdaanan, good and bad. She seen me at my best and worst, and I think vice versa. I'm just looking at her now, I feel really blessed and thankful to have witnessed someone grow into her own. And despite all of that, despite everything I said, being you know, her passion, her love for cinema, at the end of the day, Bianca's just fun to be with. She's the person that you can laugh with, that you can drink with. Unfortunately, not now because she's pregnant, but you can drink with her otherwise. I'd say Bianca is crazy. In a good way, she's crazy. She will push the boundaries of cinema. She will do things that other producers or other people won't. Sa kanya yung, naga, sa kanya nagaling yung, ano, eh, yung idea that if it doesn't scare you, then it's not worth it. You know, Bianca is always telling me you know, when she graduated, she said, like, you know, I can never imagine myself confining myself nine to five, you know, from Monday to Friday, nine to five kind of office job. So then I laugh and I said, so I guess what we did was take the nine to five office job and now we're working 365 days a year and 24 hours a day. She said, yeah. <laughs> the bossier one is definitely uh, Bianca the wife, yeah. Because uh, Bianca the producer, she just comes to you at work, right? Bianca the wife is work and at home, so it's it's never ending process of uh, trying to uh, you know dodge dodge the bullet, dodge the wife bullet. I guess I'm most proud of her carrying our child, right? I mean, it's something really special. Uh, about to have this baby, we're about to have a uh, little baby Ava. And if I were to say something, I'm so proud of you for uh, you know your impending motherhood, and uh, it's gonna be an amazing journey together. FDCP awards the Camera Obscura to Miss Bianca Balbuena. video. Uh, thank you, Film Development Council of the Philippines. I'll keep this short because I tend to get emotional because I'm pregnant. I always use my pregnancy as an excuse. So. Um, uh, I hope this inspires young film professionals and emerging filmmakers that if you want to tell a story, if you want to make films, you don't need to be a director. What we need now are producers who can join the journey with the directors, who can push them forward, who can protect them, and who can face the giants with them. So here's to more producers. Thank you.